Good morning, folks. We're waking up to some poor financial news coming out of Europe on uh, both the micro and the macro scale. Last night in South Carolina, there were about 100 calls coming in about a meteorite, large explosion. Apparently, it blew up in the atmosphere above South Carolina. It was a big 24 hours for earthquakes. We had a 5.7 in Costa Rica, a 5.6 in Northern California. I know that just says 5.3 on the RSOE, but USGS does have it as a 5.6. There was a 5.1, or I'm sorry, a 5.3 uh, in Greece to go along with that massive earthquake swarm. There was a 6.0 off the coast of uh, Honshu, Japan. Just a few hours ago, we had a 6.5 earthquake occur in the Solomon Islands. And just a few minutes ago, as of the time I'm making this video, we had a 5.1 in Baja, Mexico. Now we also have a volcano on watch in West Java. Now the water uh, that is uh, in the volcanic crater has changed colors, gone up 17 degrees Celsius, and all the fish and some of the birds have died. Time to watch that volcano. Solar wind speed is the yellow part right there. We've been going up and down and really been getting twerked with uh, corona hole stream after corona hole stream. You can see here the horizontal disturbances. Here are the uh, temporal variations, the, the resonance that it's causing uh, within the earth. But it's not just the magnetic field. You can see we don't have a nice straight curve here on the total electron content. Our ionosphere is being somewhat of, uh, affected. You can see here on the ACE LE protons, uh, we did have a little spike. Uh, not a spike here on the ACE LE electrons, but a just general uh, gradual rise. Uh, any moment now we should have the impact from that uh, filament eruption according to NOAA's CME evolution endless spiral it should happen in the middle of the day today uh, other than that we do have more coronal holes coming uh, we do have that impact from the filament eruption we're waiting for today uh, and we have some more uh, active regions turning over the limb that's the news folks be safe